G'day guys, Bing here. So um, in this video, I'm going to quickly uh, talk about this. So um, th thanks, Richard. So um, uh, you're correct. So when we do uh, this day uh, exercise day now a five, or we can we we don't need to have reference uh, reporting parameters, and uh, we don't even need to draw any circles and anything. So we can. Um, we can just use reference plan. So I'll just quickly, um, quickly explain this. So I'll just create an adaptive family. So uh, in that exercise, we're trying to um, create a horizontal line with two. So um, I'll just show you. So if we create two adaptive uh, points, and then if we want to create a line between them, and um, uh, if we want that line to be always um, horizontal, so we can do this. So for example, if I move that point up there, and then we uh, we just need to. Uh, create a point, use draw on work plan and place onto point two with an offset. Okay. Um, and uh, so you can also, if, if, you, if you're not sure, because sometimes this point can be up there and sometimes this point can be down there. So if, if you only have the point a line between this point and this point, so this horizontal line will always stay up there. And when it this point one is lower than point two, it will stay at um, uh, it will be yeah. Sorry, I'll just explain to you. So if I create a reference line there and then place a point, so use draw on. Hang on, let me just make this a reference line. And place a point to use draw on surface. Okay, so this is what I was talking about when we do when we use a host point by intersection. We don't need anything on this point. We don't need a circle or we don't need a reporting parameter. We just need to use a host point by intersection and use this horizontal word plan of this point. Okay, once you click on that, so this point will be exactly same height and then you can just create a line between them so that's it so it doesn't matter where the point is it will always this point will always go with this point and also another uh, thing i just mentioned is if this point come down to here so this won't work because this point can't go any further so what we need to do is i'll just dissolve this Place another point. Draw draw on word plan. Set word plan. Pick this horizontal word plan. Place on point two. Just to drag this. Just 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 far enough. You know, for this, uh, I'll just roughly draw, have this point there because I assume this point won't go outside of you know this range. So now we can select these two points. Place a reference line, and then this point. I'll just use pick new host. Uh, looks like it won't work uh oh yes it works so see and then we just need to host point by intersection and pick this horizontal word plan and then that's it so now um you can use these two adaptive point and create always create a horizontal line between them okay so this is what i uh, want to talk about in this um, video so basically we don't need anything we don't need uh, any lines. We uh, they don't need to be uh, physically inter intersect uh, each other. So we just need to have this point use um, uh, what's that? Uh, inter by intersection, right? So point out by intersection and pick the horizontal word plan of this point, and that's it. So thanks. Um, uh, Oh, hell. Thanks again, Richard, and um, I hope this uh, is useful. Okay, thank you. I'll see you next time. Bye.